Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. We've continued to explore how you can be the best version of you and be interested in your health and your wellness. And we're actually going to tell you a little bit about you health and wellness exposition that's happening from February 26th to 28th at the Hyatt Regency. To do so, I want to welcome the founder of You, the Caribbean Health Digest, Shireen Mongol, as well as lead IVF nurse at the Barbados Facility Center, Trinidad, Vivian Montero. Good morning and welcome to the Now Morning Show. Hey, thank good you morning. So thank much. you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. Now, let me start with you, uh, Shireen, because I understand that this expo used to happen for five years, took a bit of a hiatus. Mm -hmm. So tell me the genesis of it, why you felt it was necessary for it to happen. So it, it came from the need that we felt existed for a credible source of health information, and we developed a, our magazine, You the Caribbean Health Digest. So You Health and Wellness Expo was pretty much born from that publication. Mm -hmm. Um, where we really wanted to bring people together to interact in a forum um, and learn as much as they can about the health solutions, products and services that were avail by, by, available by the organizations who were presenting themselves at this expo. All right, and we're back with it now. And who are some of the organizations presenting this time around? Well, there's several unique things about the event this year. So it's not just a forum where the population can come and the exhibitors can present themselves to the citizens. There are several key things that are happening. And so this year we've included several panel discussions. A couple of them are like really critical issues that mm -hmm. we are faced with right now. One of them focuses on NCD management and the role that innovation plays. The other one is going to be led by the Barbados Fertility Clinic, who, who is one of our lead partners. Mm -hmm. And they're talking about, which, well, obviously Vivian will tell you a lot more about that. But one that's extremely close to me is the Youth and w Mental Wellness Forum that we're hosting on the third day, okay. where we've invited high school students from across the country. And we will have experts to discuss areas areas of mental wellness, financial literacy, environmental health. So those are some of the key simultaneous things that will be taking place while the exposition is going on. Before before I jump across to Vivian, I, I just want to, to clarify, well, find out a little bit more. You said financial liter literacy. Now, while I think that's extremely important, I'm curious as to how you link it to the mental well, health and to... Well, mental wellness yeah. is the overarching subject that we're, we're addressing with the young people. And we feel that financial wellness connects to mental wellness. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I just so, wanted to make sure we yeah, understood why we're doing it now. That is the connection. They align so well. Because as an adult, so well. I, learned that, I learned that lesson the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Vivian, tell me a little bit about uh, the work that you do at the Barbados Facility, Fertility Clinic. Well, as you said, I'm one of the lead nurses coordinators. So basically what we do here in Trinidad, in our branch in Trinidad, mm -hmm. is just to prepare our patients who are going through uh, IVF uh, treatment and they start all the process here. So they will have to spend as much time in Barbados. Eventually they will have to travel to Barbados to get her egg collection and embryo transfers. Mm -hmm. uh, but we prepare everything here. So. We coordinators are in charge to that communication between patients and, you know, explain how to use the medication, when to come to the clinic to get the ultrasounds down. Um, everything we do it here, all the instructions, everything, and then eventually they will travel to Barbados. So, and tell me, how does how does the fertility clinic fit into this this wellness expo? Well, actually, as she was saying, it's all related. It's all even mental health, mm -hmm. right? Even healthy finances, everything. Because eventually, you know, um, infertility is a huge taboo still. And there, we do know that there's a lot of people struggling with infertility, mm -hmm. not only in Trinidad, but in all the Caribbean, we deal with patients from overseas, from all over the world. So I think that this is an excellent opportunity for you to come and ask all those questions that you always wanted to ask, mm -hmm. but you were afraid to, or you are a little bit, you know, shy, you think about it. You, you will never say that it's you struggling with, right? Yeah. It's always a friend a or friend. a friend, <laughs> or my cousin. cousin. A yes, exactly. <laughs> so I think that this is a incredible opportunity for you to come. Our registrations are free, so you know it's we, we can. Is that to generally to register to be a part of the fertility center is free? No, the registration for the expo that we will be ah, talking. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. That is yeah, yeah. to clarify. We do have bit. some uh, special prices mm -hmm. running now, uh, but obviously you can get more information if you go to our website or just call director to our clinic. Yeah. Or if you come to the expo, that's yeah. happening exactly. from the Exactly, that would be the best. Yeah. Actually, that would be the best opportunity because you will have all coordinators there. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for more than 10 years, so... We, that's what we do best. Nice. Mm -hmm. And I, I, all right, so Shireen, I understand that it's split into three different parts from what I read. Uh, the expo, there's a marketplace, 
-hmm. And then there's also the interactive zone. Yes, yeah, so at the core of the expo, we have a stage, and we refer to that as the interactive zone. At, 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 at any given point when you come to the exposition, there will be activities on that stage. So right. whether it's be it's a presenter that's talking about mental wellness or talking about financial wellness or fitness demonstrations, giveaways, mm. samples. Um, one of our, our partners um, is going to be doing acupuncture demonstrations oh, on the wow. stage. So it's very, very diverse in terms of the offering. So it's it's an extremely dynamic event and I mean one of the most important things for the for the population to know is that it's free. Well that was my next question because all <laughs> yeah. these fantastic things happening what's the cost of it being yeah. there so it's absolutely free. Do you need to register or anything like no, that or you could just um, show up on the Registering for the for the pa panel discussions would have been recommended. I mean a lot of those spaces are gone but there are some spaces still available for mm -hmm. the um, innovation and technology with NCD management. Um, the school, the school forum is completely closed. I mean, it, it, it really took me back when I recognized how quickly those spaces got filled up and it really said something about the principals and the teachers recognizing how much there's a need for mm -hmm. that kind of um, discussion yeah. for young people. But for the IVF um, session, there are spaces available yes. and we'd like to encourage people to call in and register. Tell them how they can register to be a part um, of it. Well, they can call directly to the clinic. To two 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 seven 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 one, mm -hmm. or doing by email at bfct contact like Barbados Fertility Center Trinidad is okay. bfct bfct contact, contact at barbadosivf.com at barbadosivf.com. All right, this is a very interesting. So, it, what what's the time that the the expo is operating? So it's from? open to the public from nine a.m. to seven p.m. So it's a very long day, wow. and it would accommodate for people who want to drop in after work, yeah. lunchtime. And we've had that experience in the past. You know, we we recorded close to six thousand people in the last expo over mm -hmm. the three day period, and we're hoping to to reach those numbers or even exceed them. And we feel. With social media and shows like these, we're having the opportunity <laughs> to be able to do that. So we're really grateful. And um, to say that there are still some spaces available. So for people who didn't get a booth and they want to come and do a sampling station or something, they can reach out to us. Oh, I see that you have a picture up. That's a, a nice example of what the expo was like in 2015. And it's going to be very similar. And so is it that each booth is a different exhibitor giving you wellness tips, health Absolutely, tips? Absolutely, yeah. Everybody is, there's so many organizations. We have over 50 spaces. And like I said, the offering is extremely diverse. So from health product companies and health food companies, beauty, care, mm -hmm. um, uh, private hospital facilities. Um, and also, I want to say that um, the Ministry of Health, of course, has partnered with us. They always do the Honorable when yeah. will be speaking at the opening ceremony. And we do have visitors from Guyana and Jamaica as well. So we're really expanding into the region, and we're really happy about that. Fantastic. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing time. It's happening from February 26th to the 28th, and you can definitely be a part of it. You Health and Wellness Exposition at the Hyatt Regency, absolutely free. <laughs> it can't go wrong. It's the best price ever. Uh, yeah. Before we wrap, though, I just wanted to ask Vivian one question. In terms of your work at the center, what are some of the biggest challenges that you see in Trinidad and Tobago? Um, well, one of the biggest challenges, I will say, that is just open, just be talking yeah, about the communication your issue. Yeah. It's like, yes, because you are so diverse, like culturally, right? So because of religion, sometimes is a taboo talk mm -hmm. about fertility. So, you know, we try to embrace all of you. It doesn't matter your religion, your sexual orientation. We are open to all of you and just come to us and just be free to talk about your problems and we will be there to help. But yes, I think that that was one of the, you know, as it, we were saying confidential, before. confidentiality is an issue with it? Well, not really, because, you know, you can we can guarantee your confidentiality. Right. The ones that you are our patients, we are not going to, you know, go live and say. Right. But um, no, I don't think that confidentiality will Fantastic. be Fantastic. I just want to make sure we clear, we clear all that up so people are not afraid and not ashamed to come and have the conversations and take care of their own mental health and their physical health as well. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us Appreciate this morning. It. Thank well, you thank so much. You. We take a quick break and come back with more on the Now Morning Show. Stay tuned.